लाइफ मैथमेटिक्स एक्सरसाइज 4.5 प्रॉब्लम नंबर वन मिसलन इज प्रैक्टिस प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम नंबर वन ये फ्रूट वेंडर बॉट सम मैंगोस ऑफ विच टेन परसेंटेज वेर रॉटन ही सोल्ड थर्टी थ्री वन बाई थ्री परसेंटेज ऑफ द रेस्ट फाइंड द टोटल नंबर बॉट बाय हिम इनिशियली if he still has 240 mangoes with him okay that is what is the question me no a fruit vendor is a food seller okay he bought some mangoes of which 10 percentage in that 10 percentage were uh, rotten okay which you cannot able to eat he sold 33 1 by percentage of the rest okay Yeah, uh, find the total. Now you have to find the total number of mangoes he bought initially. Initially means starting. So how much mangoes in starting he bought? That is the question you are going to find. Okay, but still he is having two forty mangoes with him. Okay, now let us move on to the solution, children. Let the total number of mangoes bought by him initially be x. We don't know how much mangoes initially he bought. So let us assume that to be x. Okay. So what is given actually? Ten percentage of mangoes were rotten. So therefore, you can write number of rotten mangoes equal to ten percentage of x. That is from the uh, initially bought no from that mango ten percentage were rotten. So you can write ten percentage of x. Already you know how to convert the percentage can be written as fraction ten divided by hundred. So you write ten divided by hundred into x. Okay. So one zero one zero will get cancelled. One into x, x will be getting x divided by ten. Okay. So number of now you now you found the number of good mangoes you have to find. Already you found now number of rotten mango that is x divided by ten. Now you have to find the number of good mangoes. So x minus number of rotten mangoes. So x minus what is the number of rotten mango? X divided by ten. Okay. Now multiply. 10 into x, 10x minus x divided by 10. So you will be getting 9x divided by 10. You mark that as equation number one. Okay. Now next you have to find number of mangoes sold. Okay, how much mangoes he sold? So number of mangoes sold. What is given in the question? 33 one divided by three percentage of good mangoes. So from the good mangoes he he sold. Thirty-three one by three percentage. So therefore, man, you can you just first convert the mixed fraction into a fraction. Okay, so you will be getting hundred by three. That is thirty-three into three ninety-nine plus one hundred divided by three percentage. Okay, you will be getting hundred divided by three percentage. Okay. Now next you have to find number of mangoes sold. So therefore, number of mangoes sold is equal to hundred by three divided by hundred into that is of good mangoes. Now, what is the good mangoes? Nine nine x divided by ten. So into nine x divided by ten. Let us do. Now let us move on to the simplification, children. So hundred divided by three into hundred into Ninety nine x divided by ten. You can cancel hundred and hundred one times. Hundred ones are hundred, and three and nine will be getting cancelled by three. Three are nine. Okay. So in the next step, you will be getting one into three x. Three x divided by ten. You mark this as equation number two. Okay. Now number of mangoes remaining. Already it is given in the question. Two forty mangoes are remaining. So number of mangoes remaining equal to number of good mangoes minus number of mangoes sold. Okay, so that is from equation one and from equation two, you will be getting that answer. That is the number of good mangoes and number of mangoes sold. So you can just subtract nine x divided by ten minus three x divided by ten, which is equal to two forty. That is the remaining mango. Since the denominator is same, you can take directly ten as an LCM. So nine x minus three x divided by ten is equal to two forty. Next step six x divided by ten is equal to two forty. So you take the ten and six that said after equal to so the denominator ten will go to the numerator part and the numerator six will come to the denominator part. 
So, x is equal to 240 into 10 divided by 6. You can cancel 6 and 240 for 40 times. 6 4s are 24. Since you have 240, 6 40s are 24. Now, multiply x is equal to 40 into 10, 400. Therefore, initially he had 400 mangoes. So, starting he is having 400 mangoes with him. Okay. Now, let us move on to problem number 2. A student gets 31 percentage marks in an examination but fails by 12 marks. If the percentage is 35 percentage, find the maximum marks of the examination. You have to find the maximum mark now. Okay. Let us move on to the solution children. Let the maximum marks in the exam be x. What you are going to find that you take it as assumed as x. Okay. Let us assume. So, 35 percentage of x minus 31 percentage of x because in the question it is given a student get 31 percentage in an examination. In examination he got 31 but fails by 12 marks. So, that is equal to 12. If the pass percentage is 35. So, you will be writing actually 35 percentage of x equal to that is 31 percentage of x plus 12 you will be getting. When you come, when you bring the 31, this side changes into minus. So, you can write directly 31 percentage of x minus 31 percentage of x equal to 12. That is 35 percentage of x minus 31 percentage of x is equal to 12. So, you know how to write the 35 percentage. That is 35 divided by 100 into x minus 31 divided by 100 into x which is equal to 12. Now multiply 35 into x 35x minus 31 into x 31x since the denominator is same you can write directly 35x minus 31x divided by 100 is equal to 12. If you want write you can include one more step that is 31 35x divided by 100 minus 31x divided by 100 equal to 12. Next step, you can do the numerator part alone, subtraction because the denominator is same. Okay. So, 35 minus uh, 31, you will be getting 4x divided by 100 equal to 12. So, x is equal to 12 into 100 divided by 4. You can cancel 4, 3s are 12. 4 and 12 will get cancelled 3 times. 4, 3s are 12. So, x is equal to 3 into 100, 300. So, therefore, maximum mark is 300. Okay. Now, let us move on to problem number 3. Sultan ba Sultana bought the following things from general store. Calculate the total bill amount paid by her. So, you have to find the total amount paid by her along with the GST. Okay. So, the medicine costing rupees 800 with GST at 5%. Cosmetic cost rupees 650 with GST at 12%. Cereals costing rupees 900 with a GST at 0% and sunglass costing rupees 1750 with a GST at 18% and air conditioner costing rupees 28500 with a GST at 28%. So, first of all for the, 20, for the GST you have to find the calculation for the bill for each thing then you have to add everything because they ask you to find the total amount paid by her. Okay, let us move to the solution children. Now, formula for the bill amount, how to find the formula, how to find the uh, GST along with the formula, let us see. Formula for the bill amount is cost into 1 plus GST percent divided by 100. This is the formula we are going to apply. Okay, there is a first subdivision, medicine we are going to find. Okay, so medicine, what is the question they had given? Uh, given the costing, medicine costing is rupees 800 and GST 5%. Just substitute in the formula. So, bill amount is equal to cost is how much? 800 into 1 plus GST is how much? 5 divided by 100. So, 100 into 1, 100 plus 5, 105. So, you can write 800 into 105 divided by 100. Okay. That is 100 plus 5. So, in the next step, you can write 800 into 105 divided by 100. You can cancel 100 and 800 8 times. 100 8s are 800. Now multiply 8 into 105. So your final answer is rupees 840. So the bill amount for medicine alone is rupees 840. Okay, now let's let us move on to the cosmetics. So cosmetics, they had given you the for cosmetics, they are given the costing amount that is the 
cosmetic costing is rupees 650 and GST is 12 percent. Let us apply in the formula substitute. Bill amount equal to 650 cost amount 1 plus 12 divided by 100. Okay. The next step uh, the same before how we did the same type 100 into 1 you will be cutting 100. So, 600 in 650 into 100 plus 12 divided by 100. So, 650 into 100 plus 12, 112 divided by 10. Okay. You can cancel 1010 and again you can cancel 10 and 65 with the 5 table. Okay. 2 5s are 10 and 13 5s are 65. Again 2 112 you can cancel with 56 times. 2 56 are 112. So, you have to multiply 13 into 56. So, your answer is rupees 728. So, the cosmetic bill is rupees 728. Okay. Next, let us move on to the cereals. So, for the cereals, they had given actually GST 0%. Okay. So, the cost amount only as usual you will get. Anyway, we will substitute in the formula. So, bill amount equal to cost is 900 into 1 plus 0 divided by 100. So, which is equal to 900 into 1 plus 0 by 100 is 0. So, 900 into 1, your answer is 900. So, rupees 900 is the bill amount for cereals. Next, fourth subdivision, sunglass. So, for the sunglass, the costing, that is the sunglass costing is rupees 1750 and GST at 18%. So, bill amount is 1750 into 1 plus 18 divided by 100. That is the formula you are going to substitute. Next, 1750 into 100 into 100 plus 18 divided by 100. So, 1750 into 118 divided by 100. Okay. So, let us move on to the simplification. 1010 10 will get cancelled. And in 5 table, you can cancel. 2 5s are 10 and 35 5s are 175. Okay. Again, in 2 table, you can cancel 118 59 times. 2 59s are 118. Now, let us multiply 35 and 59. Your final answer is rupees 2065. Okay. Now, last subdivision that is air conditioner. Okay. So, for the air conditioner, the air conditioner costing is rupees 28,500. GST is 28%. So, the bill amount is 28,500 plus 28 divided by 100. So, 28,500. Now, multiply 100 plus 28 divided by 100. Okay. So, you will be getting 28,500 into 128 divided by 100. So, you just cancel two zeros and two zeros. So, multiply 285 into 128. The final answer is 36,480. Now, actually in the question, they ask you to find the total bill amount. So, now so long we have found each item in the separately. Okay. Now, we have to add all the amount. Therefore, total bill amount equal to your uh, uh, 840 plus 728. That is your medicine bill 840 and cosmetic 728 and 900 cereals and sunglass 2065 and air conditioner 36480. So, your final bill amount is rupees 41,013. So, 41013 that is rupees 41,013 is your final answer. Okay. Now, let us move on to problem number 4. P's income is 25 percentage more than that of Q. By what percentage is Q's income is less than P's? So, they ask you to find the percentage. Okay. What is the percentage Q's income less than the P's you have to find? Okay. Solution. Let Q's income be 100. We don't know the income of the Q. So, you take it as, so you take it as 100. Okay. Let Q's income be 100. So, P's income is 25 percentage more than that of Q. You know already what is the meaning of more you have to do the addition that is add it is getting more so that therefore p's income is equal to 100 plus 25 percentage of 100 so 100 plus 25 divided by 100 into 100 so you can cancel 100 and 100 so you'll be getting 100 plus 25 which is equal to 125 okay now q's income is 25 less than that of p Okay, so in percentage terms, you can write Q's income is less than P's with respect to P's income. So, you can write which is equal to P minus Q. 
divided by p into 100 okay you know the p value that is 125 divided by 125 into 100 that is p value is 125 minus q value we have assumed already 100 so 125 minus 100 divided by 125 into 100 so 125 minus 100 you will be getting 25 divided by 125 into 100 you can cancel 125 and 100 in 25 tables 25 5s are 125 and 25 4s are 100 again 5 and 25 you can cancel that is 5 5s are 25 so 5 into 4 20 percent so 20 percent is your final answer okay thank you children let us see the balance problem in next session okay